It is April the 10th. Oh, it's finally stopped raining. Oh my gosh, it's been really wet and windy. Um, and I just haven't been able to get out into the garden. I've got a new microphone. Pew pew! Interesting. So hopefully sound quality will improve. We've got some new lambs in the field. long job list to do. We'll see how much we get done but I just wanted to take a minute and observe what's going on in the garden and everything's a little bit slower. It takes a little bit longer to burst into colour and start growing as things to warm up. I feel like we're getting there now. It just needs to dry up. It's been so wet. So I want to build a sweet pea teepee today and wash some gravel for the pond. Essentially move some snowdrops. Um, maybe a bit of streaming. I've got some lettuce and things that seriously need pricking out. So plenty to do today, but also it's just really nice to stop and listen to the birds. I feel a little bit of warmth in the sky, in the sunshine. Hard work down there today. <laughs> Get in that greenhouse, do some bits and bobs. Right, I've decided I'm going to uncover my onions and my spinach because they should have rooted by now and they'll be less vulnerable to the birds. Let's have a look. These are red barons. They have crinkled over a little bit. But on the whole, they've got some good shoots coming up. They will bounce back and they'll be, the birds won't be able to get them. So I need to definitely have a tidy up in here. There's lots of weeds and things encroaching. So we'll have a weed up in there. Let's have a look over here. I fed the garlic the other day with some purpose nitrogen because I saw in a video it's time to do that. Okay. Here we've got the white onions. Oh. Well, hopefully they'll get going now. Most of those have started to sprout. Brilliant. Let's have a look at the spinach. So we've got a few spinach, but it's mostly failure. But that's okay. It was an experiment anyway, but I do need to get in and start weeding. I want to prick out some of my seedlings that are doing really well. So these are brassicas going into nine inch pots. I'm doing some Brussels sprouts here, just very gently taking them out, teasing them apart, making a little hole and popping them in. Notice that I'm only ever touching them by the leaves. I don't want to crush the stems. This is something I've learned from YouTube. So really gently handling them. There's something actually really pleasant about this. It's quite meditative. You give them a really good water in. These are red lettuce and literally going to do the same thing. So just using a regular compost. There's nothing special in this. 
these seedlings are really healthy and they've got nice little root systems on them here I'm going to wet, pre-wet the compost to get it nice and drenched. It also makes it easier to make holes in the compost for your seedlings to sit in or the compost doesn't fall back into the hole. So it's a good idea to wet them first. I'm using a little dibber that was given to me in a gift set with some seeds last year, but you could just use your finger, you could use a pencil, anything just to make a hole big enough for the root system to sit in comfortably. It's really exciting to see these seedlings moving up into a larger pot. The next time they get transferred, it will be into the soil. This is a really nice job to do when you feel you need to slow down a little bit, emotionally or physically. I often feel overwhelmed in the garden. This is a really good job for staying in the moment and not thinking about that really long to-do list. Today I pricked out purple sprouting broccoli and some swede some red lettuce and some cos lettuce. I still have plenty more that needs pricking out, lots of calendula, marigolds, etc. And lots more Lola Rosso and iceberg lettuce. Welcome to what is going to be the new pumpkin patch in the garden. I grew some last year and was thrilled with them. They were delicious, but they need more space. This area of the garden is full of long grass and not too many weeds, but it needs trimming down and then I'm going to get the lawnmower on it and get it right down as low as possible and get it mulched. I will go over it again and then I'm going to cover it with some black membrane and plant into that. Whilst I've got the lawnmower out, I'm going to, for the first time this year, give some of my pathways a quick going over. And it was really nice to smell the fresh cut grass again. achieved today so another couple of wet days coming up I think and then prepping pumpkin patch a bit more pricking out um, yeah lots to do big long list thanks for watching the Galloway Gardener this week please like and subscribe and I'll leave you with some spring lambs and an appearance from baby cat right at the end see you next time mm -hmm.